How you doing guys? Dragon Man here and today I'm going to bore out cylinders. I got a lot of cylinders to bore out and uh, these here are shovel head uh, cylinders 8.5 to 1 compression cast pistons 40 over and we're going to make these pistons fit in here. See that? So the first thing we do over here is a uh, measure the piston of course. It should be room temperature because you know it uh, should be around 65-70 degrees when you measure it and this is three inches four hundred and seventy six thousandths so we're going to make it 477 we've got a leaf clearance so what I do next is take the dial indicator and uh, set up my uh, micrometer here see to that measurement see that goes in there and then we zero out the uh, dial indicator here. See that's how uh, we take the measurement from the micrometer to this micrometer and goes on to the uh, dial indicator. Okay so we'll start up the phase converter. This is my automatic stroker machine and uh, we put the cylinder on here. I'm using uh, 100 grit stones. That's the roughest stone they make sunning and it cuts down the cylinder like in uh, two minutes. It, I opened up the flutes that automatically centers the cylinder you know to the middle of the uh, mandrel. Now I uh, tighten this up, loosen it up, push the button, just check the uh, measurement, see how much got to come out. And uh, we've got to take out about eight thousandths of an inch. Okay. So we'll get the automatic oil going. We lock it, step on the pedal. See, and that'll uh, bore it out. See, you can never hold it that straight. If the cylinder's got to go more than 10 or 20 thousand over, I always use my uh, boring bar. Okay, we're going to check it. It's got a little more to go. Normally when a guy comes in with a set of cylinders, I just tell him to hang out for 15 minutes. Now what bike shop in the country is going to give you service like that? Okay, just a little more. And then we take it to my, uh, my other honing machine and we give it a fine 300 cross hatch. That makes the cast ring seat right away. Wow, look at that. Here you go, put the camera right to that. Look at that, the highest point. Look at that. See that zero? Zero is zeroed out. Yeah, what's that? One minute, minute and a half. Cylinder's bored out. Can't beat it. Okay, we shut that off. Hit the oiler off. Take the cylinder out. Got the phase converter off. Yeah, I have this machine a long time. Sunnen really makes good uh, machines. Okay, and it's all bought out. Now, this, now the piston should fit right in. Let's try it out. Wow, look at that fit, huh? Look at that, guys. Now, you don't get any better than that. Yeah, look at that. Okay, now we go to this uh, honing machine. And this has the 300 grit uh, stones on it. 
See that? And uh, we're just going to put a cross hatch in it. Look how nice. Now that cylinder is bored out. Two minutes. See, and people wonder how I could do everything so fast. Because everything is set up to do every job that I advertise. Okay, so anyway, I wanted to tell you something. You learned something today. Um, these are uh, 10 and a half to 1 compression forged pistons. See that? Uh, KB, s and S makes, you know, different companies, TRW. And uh, see, to make that aluminum dome up there, it, it makes the piston very heavy. And uh, if you put these, you take your 8 and a half to 1 compression pistons out and put these 10 and a half compression pistons in, it's actually it's definitely going to give you more compression but it's going to throw off the balancing see that you'll get a lot of vibration uh, in mid-range around uh, 40 55 miles an hour so uh, what I recommend is uh, cutting down the cylinder every 50 thousandths of an inch lower on the head or the cylinder if you CC it uh, equals another one and a half to one compression so you could take your regular eight and a half to one compression pistons right cut down the cylinder it won't throw off the balancing and you don't have to spend three hundred dollars for forged pistons and it'll give, give you the same compression ratio okay so uh, let me take a walk over here let me show you how I uh, cut down the cylinders okay stock height on a pan head or a shovel head the early motors uh, is uh, 5 inches, 330 thousandths of an inch, the height. So we're going to put this on the uh, lathe here. And we're actually going to give it a, a haircut. We're going to take off 50 thousandths of an inch. See, this is the kind of work I do all day. I don't recommend you practicing on the customer's uh, cylinders. Get a set of old cylinders and then uh, you, could, you guys should practice. Okay, I'm going to start up the phase converter. You got to go nice and easy with a carbide uh, tip here. See, not only does the gasket surface have to be cut down, but so is the fire ring around the cylinder. See that? And here, I'm taking off 20,000 right now, and, uh, see it takes it right off. It's a uh, cast iron mayonite, aluminum, uh, cast iron, that's what the cylinder's made out of. So you just go nice and easy, and uh, it cuts it down. And we're, right now, we're making more compression because the cylinder is getting shorter. Okay, so anyway, that's how that's done. Now, uh, let me show you my boring bar over here. Okay, we're taking this pan head cylinder, right? And uh, see the height on the pan head cylinder and the height on the shovel head cylinder is the same. Five inch or 330 thousandths, right? So it's really the same cylinder. The only difference is the bolt pattern on the head. So uh, this guy wants to put 80 inch flywheels in his pan head, right? So uh, to make the 80 inch stock piston fit, the pan head cylinder has to go 60 thousandths over standard, right? And that makes it standard 80 cubic inch. I hope you guys understand that. Okay, so uh, we're going to bore this out. No matter what size it is now, it's going to go 60 over. If it's 10 over, 20 over, 30 over, 40 over, it doesn't matter. 
60 over uh, will be standard 80 cubic inch cylinder size. Okay, so we take these little uh, studs here. So you put them in the uh, boring bar, so you like that. Okay, you lower this into the cylinder. Now we open it, see it opens up those little bars, the flutes, and it centers the cylinder in the middle of the boring bar. Now we tighten it up, loosen it up, raise the boring bar up, Take out the little studs here, the fl uh, flutes. We set the micrometer to three and a half inches. That's a standard 80 cubic inch. We take the cutter, which is our carbide, and this here is spring loaded. See that? Okay, we put that in there. Okay, we take the little brush, make sure there's no metal filings in here or else we get the wrong reading. And now we uh, stick in the micrometer. Okay, we tighten it up. The carbide tip. Pull the micrometer out. Now when it goes down, it'll uh, take out whatever metal is remaining in there. And when it's all done, it'll be a, a three and a half inch solder, uh, ready for a standard 80 cubic inch piston. See that? And when it comes all the way down, it shuts off by itself. So I could go back to the honing machine and bore out the other solder. See that? You, gotta, you know, you got to keep things going, you know? <laughs> you know, time is money. You snooze, you lose. Got to keep going. Yeah, see how nice that cooks? See all the metal coming out? See, everything goes perfect if you know what you're doing and you have the right equipment. Okay guys, just wanted to give you a quick lesson and uh, boring cylinders out. And uh, to tell you the truth, I have about seven sets of cylinders to do today. And uh, I try to uh, keep everything coming and going. Nothing really stays at my shop more than four or five days the longest. If I get really, really busy, I just stay up later and keep working. That's how I got ahead in this world. You want to make money? You got to work. You snooze, you lose. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed everything. You guys have a great day, and uh, you know what I'll be doing. I'll be boring all day. Take care.